Okay, I know, well I probably know what you are thinking. This car is not very special, it's old, it hasn't got any special features or anything. But we're going to start off with the basics and then I will get to the main reason why this vehicle is on this video. And I'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this name, the Enos Cognoscenti Cabrio is a coupe vehicle featured in all of the um, editions of GTA and GTA Online. So you can get it on GTA Online and you can get it on free mode. It can be purchased from the legendary motorsports site or a very small, going by today's standards, a uh, $185,000. And it can be stored in any personal vehicle garage and also customized in the Los Santos Customs along with the CEO places and the arena walls. The design of the Cabrio, Cab Cabri Cabrio, yeah, is based on a Bentley Continental GTC. So it is of a car of luxury. The manufacturer is an Innes. The vehicle features. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna wait for that bit because that's the main reason why it's on it. Availability Legendary Motorsport. The sale price can only be sold if purchased high end. So you will not be able to find this car on the street, and even if you do, you will not be able to get it into the LS Custom Shop without purchasing it. If you do, however, purchase this vehicle at $185,000 and you sell it without any modifications, the resale price is $111,000. Top speed in game is, well, going by the game files, is 90 miles an hour, but the top speed for real in game is 110. Now, <clears throat> I know you're probably not thinking this car is not any good for anything, however, it has got one feature on it which no vehicle in the game newly added actually have this feature you can involve in this you can have it or you cannot have it you can either have it or you can remove it but no car nowadays that gets added to the game has this This is why it is on this list, mainly because of it being a convertible, but mainly because of the automatic roof, like the, like, you know, putting the roof away. I've always liked this car. Since the game came out 2013, I was looking for a car for each character's garage, and I found this and I thought it suited Michael's house the best. And I did not know that it was convertible because it doesn't actually say, or it didn't back then, I don't think, not that I read it, uh, it didn't say that it was convertible. So when I found out that it was convertible, I thought this is amazing. And the way it folds is even more amazing. Um, I did, I believe, take it round the handling circuit, so I'll show you that to you now.
and obviously it's not a vehicle for speed and handling it's more of a luxury and sophisticated type of vehicle um, but it's on this list because I, I like how it looks yes you don't get many customizations if any just the standard primary color rims uh, engine brakes exhausts turbo all that normal stuff you haven't got any bumper or hoods you've only got the one color but it's still nice yes you can't really get many variants of the same car but nowadays all the vehicles that get added to the game have got like 25 different things along with another five in each of them um, and it makes it kind of difficult keeping the car as one this however you've got very limited things you can do to it so it makes it kind of you know still kind of good and how many of these things have you seen driving around the street probably not many but that is why this vehicle is on this list leave a like if you um, if you've had this car if you've enjoyed it at any point in, in your life of playing the game um, leave a comment of what you think of this vehicle if you haven't experienced this car then and if you got you know a few million to spare get it see what you think of it um, but if you have then leave in the comments what your thoughts are on it good or bad either is fine along with subscribing as well and if you do continue to enjoy then do not forget to click the notification bell for any future videos or updates that I unleash onto the channel and I will see you all in the next one